Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Greatsark, and the person that I decided to respond to is Aspen Levin. Um, so the first question was, what connections did the student make to Dali's work, to creativity and innovation? Um, the connections that Aspen made were, he, he noticed how um, different groups managed to spark creativity from kind of from different places. He um, He found it really interesting how how the creativity was inspired and found he mentioned um the example of dali he would go to sleep with keys in his hands and whenever they would drop um he would wake up and whenever what was on his mind he would write down and create artwork from that okay so the next question how did the student explain how creativity was connected to entrepreneurship and innovation um aspen mentioned how um, it's critical for the person or organization who needs to be uh, creative or inspired to go out in the world, go to an art museum, go out to a public area in order to get uh, inspiration and creativity from the environment. Uh, it's, not, it's not recommended to um, go to places where it's not creative. He mentioned Zoom calls or uh, boring meetings. Okay, so the third question, how was the student's view changed about the region's entrepreneurship and innovation in the area? Well, he was stating how um, how much of an influence the Dali Museum really had on the whole St. Pete area. He was stating how kind of how companies would take inspiration um, and how it basically affects the whole community. Okay, and the last question, um, what two examples of creativity and innovation or come from the St. Pete, Tampa area? Um, he mentioned Jable and Know Before. These are both software companies, and he mentioned how they're very innovative companies and how, like stated previously, um, lots of their inspiration has come from the Dali Museum. Overall, he, uh, Aspen did a really great job, and yeah, have a great day.